Well, good morning and welcome to Budapest day two. Today we are going to leave Pest and go to Buda, across the Danube, and we're going to go to the castle and try and explore that area of the city. After that, we're talking about going to the Great Hall Market and to buy some gifts and uh, explore a little bit of that sort of area as well. So come with us, the weather is a wee bit unsettled. We have made it to the Buddha side of Budapest and we are now going to go to, we think, Buddha Castle. We're heading uphill and the troops are here. There they are. We are. They're all here. Hello. Yeah, they're all here. Good morning. I think it's a puppet show. Hello. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting a nice view of the of the city. That's Maria Anya. So we're just going exploring into the the bowels of the palace, the Buddha Palace. This is just the, the inner court of the palace. There's a lot to see here. This is the inner inner courtyard I mean, or the back of the palace. Look how progressive they are too. They actually recycled back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In, in three different types of bins. That's right. Yeah. I like, those, I like those lions though. Those lions are very fierce looking. So we've come down a bit to this building which is the Royal Riding Hall. What a building. Obviously the big horse here gives it away. At the back of the palace. And if you look very closely you will see two very familiar people up there. Forward on Castle Hill to the next part of this phenomenal structure. That's the Castle Hill funicular. There it is. We didn't come up that. Might go down it. Who knows? Very smart soldier. Very serious looking. So the president of Hungary, that's who lives in here. Lives and works, I think. That's why it's well guarded. The renovations that are going on here are very extensive. Um, so this building over here was a theater. And you have on the right, you can just see it there, a plaque to Ludwig von Beethoven. So obviously there's some significance to all of that. Oh, after a wonderful coffee break, the tour continues. We're now heading towards St. Matthias Church. Are we still in the castle complex? We are indeed, yeah, we are. Elections are on. <laughs> So this is the Matthias Church. Wow, that is that is fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, so the buildings up here are just fantastic. Look at those. 
Very hard to capture this all in one uh, shot. Huge building. Huge building. What's called the fisherman's bastion? Yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Now the church is closed and we can't get into it, but you can get tickets for this one. So after that long wait to get up to the bastion, here we are. Here we are. Was it worth it? Three euros to get up here? Three euros? It was always worth it since you paid it. <laughs> since I paid it? Anything. Didn't cost you anything? Thank you, Ashley. It'll cost you later. Yeah, it'll cost me later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a bus. So we're heading for the Danube now. We found this lovely big church, but it clearly is not open. We think it's a reformed church. Yeah, there it is. Very, very pretty. Well, this is where we are now. We're heading towards the Great Market. It's a, it's a 49er. Yeah. Oh, we've just come out of the market, which I found uh, a little bit slow, but busy. Full of, I don't know, the same stuff really, but we're just going to go down this street now and see why there's such a big crowd here. Well, good morning and another lovely day in Budapest. Today we are, well, we're starting very leisurely. We're going to the New York Cafe, which is just around the corner. Beautiful place, you'll see it when we get there. From there, we're going to find one of these uh, ruin bars. So it's like a pub crawl we're on, but it's not really. Um, from there, we're going to then go to the Jewish Quarter and do the Dohani or the Great Jewish Synagogue. And from there, I think we will go then towards St. Stephen's Church, which we didn't get inside the other day, so we're going to try and get inside that and see the shoes on the wall in the Parliament area. So that's the plan today. Come with us. So the troops are saying it's too early to go in. Uh, there it is. What a place. It's busy. It's a memorial. So we're clearly in the Jewish quarter now. 
Okay, this wall serves as a memorial to the rich, vibrant Jewish life that once flourished on these streets. And then the 23rd Psalm is down here. 600,000 Hungarian Jews perished during the Holocaust. This is the ruin bar. That's in Kultura Yucca. In we go. It looks like it's on the tourist route, doesn't it? Oh, it's dark, isn't it? Oh, you just walk through. Oh, there's things to buy. Are they coming? Many places to hide in here. Yeah. Unique, is it? Yeah. If you say it's a, a, a polar opposite to the Royal Cafe, New York to the New York Cafe, polar opposite. Of life. See if you can get a pick of that, Andre. There's the back side of the synagogue. Very strong poster here. Innocent people, infancy, women, babies, Holocaust survivors. Going inside the Great Synagogue. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hello. Thank you. I think we should take a seat beside the British flag. Look at this. Look. Oh, I didn't see. I just saw a fucking face. There is our tour guide. Of the, the weeping tree, the tree of life, memorial to the Holocaust victims. It's a window, a glass window, and the, the flames. Holocaust means flames, I think. 
flames of the fire. Some of the Hungarian people who died in the Holocaust. Hello. This is commemorating the Soviet army 40 years ago. Coming in to liberate Coming them. Coming in to liberate them. Meditating. It's just one of those moments of rare moments of silence on the tour. Well, it was. <laughs> it was. It wasn't you came up. And here, look, there it is coming. It's a, it's a monument. Whoever saves a life is considered as if he has saved an entire world. It's the Carl Lux Memorial. There it is. While wandering yep. around Budapest ghetto, you will come across this memorial, half hidden by trees, dedicated to Swiss diplomat Carl Lux. Made by Thomas Sabo in 1991, consists of two bronze figures portraying an angel on high descending down a altar clock to a prostate victim. The Rum Bach Synagogue. Wow. Yeah. In your happy place, Andre? It's a little expensive to be a happy place. Okay. Yeah. World of Souvenir. We are now going to order a longo. Plus bacon and red onions. Order here. Red onion, fried onion, doesn't matter. After uh, longos, we're now going into this courtyard. I can't pronounce the name of the word, but uh, it begins with a G. God's food or something like that. Yeah, just continuing to walk through the. Boulevard, lovely. Oh, it's quite unusual, the roof here. Here they come. Looking so natural. We're now at the Orthodox, the Orthodox Synagogue. So we're at the back of St. Eithsvan's Church or Stephen's Church. So we were here a couple of days ago. Didn't get into the church because it was an orientation tour. But we're hoping today that maybe we will actually go inside. We've come in a side entrance. Hmm. Uh, oh my. Oh my. Oh my, 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 my. This is grand. That's the organ. Just above the main entrance that's closed to that. We come in through the side. There's a sort of a left wing of the church. I'm going to go down there.
We are going straight, straight to the Danube now. Except maybe stop by a chimney cake store. Oh yes, and we're going to see the shoes. See the shoes. So here we are down on the Danube again. And on the left is the famous chain bridge. And there's the whole castle complex. St. Matthew's Church. All the boats. And we're heading towards the shoes and the parliament now. I think it's the shoes of the people who left to go to the concentration camps. There you are. There's all the shoes there. There's all the shoes there. They're tied down with these yellow ribbons. So I have beside me today a historian and a veritable shoe expert who's now going to tell me and all the viewers what the true story of the shoes is all about. So this this, mon this uh, memorial is for the people that were killed by the Hungarians during World War II. They would take their shoes off because they could sell them for money and then they would shoot them and th that then they'd fall into the river and the river would sweep their bodies away. It's the Budapest Eye. I'd say the reason why people aren't on it is because it's pricey. Just like everything else in this. I don't see a soul. Lovely statue. Lovely statue in the middle of this park. Kind of spoiled by this carbuncle. Quite dear again, but you know, you might like it. Well, good morning. It's our final day in wonderful Budapest and this morning what we're going to do is well catch up on a few things that we haven't been able to do. So number one we're going to do is the New York Cafe. We're actually going to go in this time. We're not just going to look from the outside. We're going to go in and then we're going to head towards Hero Square which we were at before as well. But we're going to do the castle and the park that's up there and then possibly after that then come back down that main street and do the House of Terrors, the Opera, and a few other things that's on that boulevard. So, following Jay, following Andre. Oh, we're going into a lovely, oh, we're right at the window. Spectacular, thank you. So we are at Hazuk Ter, Hazuk Ter, Hero Square. So here we are back at Hero Square, and what we're going to do is go beyond it this time into the park and see the castle that's just over behind it. Today we are on tour with Andrea. Andrea is leading the way and uh, doing a fine job of getting us everywhere. So Hero Square. Or Hazak Tear was built in 1896 to celebrate the 1000th anniversary of the Magyar's arrival in Hungary. This vast square culminates in a bold millennium monument. Standing stoically on its colonnades are 14 Hungarian leaders who represent the whole span of this nation's colourful and illustrious history. Look at this park! Oh, we can get a paddle. Paddle boat. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. 
here is the entrance to the castle. The castle begins with a V. I cannot pronounce it. Val Jahad or something like that. But I'll put the writing up there for all those who are interested. Entering the castle. It's also a concrete bottom. The moat. Yeah. So, oh, it's quite a complex in here of buildings. Certainly worth exploring. Another statue over here. And then this looks like a church that's closed on the left. An area called Octagon. We passed the House of Terrors, which is closed today. See, everything seems to be closed on a Monday. But there's a rooster up there, a very big one. Um, so I think the next thing we see, major landmark, is the Opera. This is the Opera House. So we're inside the Opera. It's like a church. Very opulent. In every way. Beautiful. So after a little bit of walking, a little bit of shopping, we are now heading towards a, lango a place that sells langos. Jay's got it on his phone. Quite a nice curved street. Here's the lango place, right underneath the arch in the Jewish corner. Jay is ordering the langos. We're sitting at a very funny table because it's it's supported by pallets. And I feel as if I feel as if I need to be elevated up a bit more. But yeah. Well, the next place in the tour today, Parliament Building. Which we did visit. I think it was Friday. But it started to rain, so we didn't really get a good photograph. So today we're going to put that right. Fantastic building. It's at the center. So if you want to go into the Parliament building, that is the way you go. You need a ticket. It's about, I think it was about 25 quid for a 50 minute trip. All sold out today. Phew. So we're going outside, back out of the visitor center. This lovely big statue is here. Just outside, give you another view. So here we have one of the river cruise ships, the Amadeus. Oh, I can't just read that, but that looks a lovely ship. Oh, we just come down onto the Danube to go up onto the chain bridge, but there's a Viking ship here. It looks really, really nice. We're now up on the chain bridge. We've seen it. We've gone beneath it. We've gone past it. And now we're walking on it. I got two lands. Yeah. So look at that. You've got three Viking river cruise ships all together. There's a little tub, there's a pool, there's a pool. Hello. Oh, there's a 
miss it. It's a pickleball court. It's a very small one. Chess game. Back there. Let's see a Rosabella. A Rosa Riva. <laughs> okay, we are almost on the Buddha side of Budapest again, and uh, you can see the, the back end of a lion and a tunnel that obviously goes under the hill. That looks quite a thing, it looks quite a bit of engineering. So, your Clark Hotel, you've got the tunnel, and then you've got the funicular, and then you've got the palace. We're getting the mini pod de van from the hotel. It was only about 20 euros, so it's quite a cheap option to get to the hotel. I'll tell you later whether it was good or not. <laughs> Taxi from here is about 50 euros, so saving 30 euros, so it's worth worth trying. So we're just outside the New York Cafe again. Andrew just wanted to get this picture off the front of it. It's really quite stunning. This old bus here, Andre. That's a bit of a blast from the back. Look at that, that's a tram bus. Here's our van, takes us to the airport. It's the mini bud. Here's our airport. And here's Andrea. She's excited. Okay, then. She's going home. Here's Andrea getting hustled at the airport. Oh, yes. Wonder how she's gonna get out of this one. Now there's the plane I wish I was taking home. <laughs> the Emirates 777. Lovely. But in reality, it's Ryanair. 